My full name is Munyaradzi Mahia, but I go by Munya because it makes it easier for a lot of people to remember and actually pronounce my name. I am 23 years old. I was born and raised in Zimbabwe, but I currently live in California, Berkeley. I go to the University of California at Berkeley and I study political science. I grew up in a city 30 minutes outside the capital city, Arari. I grew up in a little city called uh, Chitungwiza, which is like a high density suburb. The thing that I had to consider when I was coming here was the fact that I'm part of a low income pool. So I had to make a bunch of sacrifices. And one of those was not seeing my family as regular as I want to. It's sad at times, but when I consider the payoff at the end, it's, it's worth it. My cancer story goes as this. It was on, a, on the 26th of December, 2007. I was taking a walk with my nephew and then we passed through this open field where my friends in Wedza were playing soccer. So when I saw them, I was like, well, those are my buddies, let me join them. Play, played soccer for a bunch of hours. As we were playing, like, one of my friends decided to like, do this like, really dangerous sliding tackle and it hit me on my left knee and that was it. I was in pain for like hours. So I had a bunch of misdiagnosis from that injury to a point in 2009 when I met a different doctor and then they did uh, surgeries, uh, biopsies and all these different tests and it came out as an osteosarcoma, which is a type of bone cancer, and mine was localized on the knee. So we made the ultimate decision to amputate because my leg from the knee to my foot was pretty much dead, so I couldn't feel it and I couldn't move it. The reason why I'm here today is because I'm part of an osteointegration program at uh, UCSF Medical. Dr. O'Donnell. For more than 50 years now, millions upon millions of uh, dental implants have been performed. But for the past 25 years in Sweden, Dr. Brandemark has perfected means of adapting the dental implant to patients who have an amputation, either in the lower extremity or in the upper extremity. So once the fixture is bonded to the residual bone, a second stage procedure is performed where the implant is brought through the skin percutaneously to serve as a direct uh, anchorage for an external prosthetic device. This allows the patient to avoid use of a socket, which is very difficult, uh, particularly in patients who have very short residual limbs, in other words, very high above knee amputation, or those patients who have bilateral above knee amputations. So my hopes, obviously, I hope the surgery goes well. Uh, I know I have a really good team. Once I got wind of uh, the OC integration program at uh, UCSF, and when the doctors asked me if I wanted to be a part of it, I didn't even think about it twice because I, uh, I knew about the benefits. It's been about six weeks since my stage two surgery. I would say the recovery has been really fast than I thought. I thought I was going to spend like the normal like eight to nine weeks of healing before I can go and get my shorty. But I've gotten my shorty already like within the sixth week already. So I think the, the healing is going better than I thought. The shorty is a short prosthetic that covers the distance between the stump to the knee so that I can kneel and weight transfer. Like right now I can only stand and weight transfer to my left side about 60 pounds or so, so that I can like measure how much I can take before pain kicks in. I do most of the rehabbing at home because it's much, much easier. The goal is to start walking by December with a little or no support from crutches or walkers or whatnot. The biggest hope that I have is to be part of a bigger community there's people that are leading in innovations for prosthetics. 
I was thinking about it the other day and I realized that I might actually be the only Zimbabwean for now that will have an OC integration procedure done. So I would like to go back and talk to people that want to get it, help them connect with doctors like Dr. O'Donnell and, and see how it goes from there.